Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between these two coffee makers. On the left, I got the Krupp's 10 cup coffee maker. And on the right, I got the Mueller 12 cup coffee maker. Now the Krupp's only does 10, the Mueller does 12. That's one difference. Now each of them take a different style filter. The Krupp's takes a number four cone filter and the Mueller takes a eight to 12 cup basket style filter. Now they both come with reusable filters. This is again, the cone shape and this is basket style. But again, the Mueller, if you want to use a paper filter, this is what the number four um, cone filters look like. Now, you can never use both of these at the same time. It's either or, and same with this. Here's what the basket style filters look like. So I just got done brewing some with the Krups. There's what the filter looks like. It's got a nice handle on it, the basket. Over here, we got just a little handle we can pick up. And so again, if I want to use the reusable filter, there's what it looks like. And over here, there. Both have a big opening. You're gonna put the water back here. This one might be a little bit bigger. Um, whatever amount of water you put in the back is what it's gonna brew each time you turn the switch on. So if you only want six cups, just fill it up to the six mark. The Mueller's got a window on the other side. So they both have windows to show you how much water you've added back in the back. Okay, so both of these operate under the same principle. They got a switch. You're gonna turn the switch on, but here's where one of the differences is. This is a physical switch, so when I turn it on, there's a little LED light in there. It's gonna start the brew process, and at the end, it's gonna turn the warming plate on. Now, it's gonna keep that warming plate on until I come up here and physically throw that switch back to the off position. Now, on the Krups, it's a push button. So when I push it, it's gonna start the brew process, and it's gonna keep, the, at the end of the brew, it's gonna turn the warming plate on. It's gonna keep it on for one hour. After one hour, it automatically shuts the warming plate off, so that blue light will go out. And up here with the brew head, I thought this brew head was a little bit nicer because it's got this thing that seals around the brew basket over here on the Mueller. I found this lid to be just a little hard sometimes to kind of pop open. And there's what the brew head looks like. Okay, so let's do each craft. The Krups, I really do like the craft. Now, one thing I also like is how the craft goes in and out of the coffee maker. The Krups seems like it's very nice, very easy. It pours. Now, both of these, if you get in a hurry, they will make a mess. But if you take your time, they both pour very nice. Okay, let's go to the Mueller. Again, I felt like this one didn't go in and out quite as easy sometimes. But here it's going in and out easy, nice. So let's pour. And it pours good too, maybe a little faster. But again, if you get in too big a hurry, it will uh, spill on you. So I felt like they both made a very hot cup of coffee. You end up with about 170 degree cup of coffee. Taste wise, I'm not a coffee taste expert by no means. I do sometimes think the number four cone filters, um, they, brew, they, um, they brew a little bit better. I think the coffee does taste a little bit better out of a cone filter. I thought the Mueller might have been just a little bit hotter up here at the brew head. The Krups, I think I remember seeing about oh, 194 and I think I saw about 197 to 200 on the Mueller. So it's gonna come down, do you like the automatic function of turning the warming plate off, or do you wanna physically turn the warming plate off with a switch each time? Now, if you ever forget to turn that off, the water will boil out of the carafe and you could, you'll end up with some burnt coffee in the bottom of your uh, carafe. You know, I think, the, I think the Krups just looks a little bit nicer with that stainless steel here, the Mueller. It's okay, I like their logo. Um, it's mainly just, um, a plastic coffee maker and as far as with the lid open size wise they're both right around 20 inches for the Mueller the Krups maybe a quarter inch taller so I hope my comparison video helps thanks everybody for watching